Hello, this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 25th. Yes, the 25th of September 2021. Okay, so I did have a quality plan for today, which involved Kefili and then Tree Forest. And I actually couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I had a high speed attack of, well, I could do it. I was up early enough and no. So I'm recording this at home. And I have had some feedback. Thank you for the feedback. Um, and it says it's better with the headset off. Yeah. Um, I've had problems with the sound bouncing around in the past. Um, but I'm at home and I've got the new camera and I'm using new software. So why not? Except that when I'm in the pub, it is better to have the headset on. You can hear less noise when recording and the microphone is better and rejects a lot of noise around me. But anyway, thank you very much. Okay, so this is me talking about the last week. Um, it's work, it's politics, it's tech. Um, it's quite often beer as well. Um, start off with the word or the phrase of the week. And that is, he says, as he keeps his um, iPad mini going, shortage shortage of natural gas which meant a shortage of carbon dioxide which meant shortage of petrol and diesel which meant panic buying and shortage of electricity which meant prices went through the roof and obviously prices of gas so they went through the roof as well um i like renewable sources but when you have high pressure weather in an Indian summer or a Delta summer, as we now call it, that's high pressure and the wind doesn't blow. And we were down to less than 10 percent of wind power and renewables last week. You've always got to have something to look after the base load. We've closed our pits. Drax runs on biomass, which I'm not altogether sure carting that halfway around the world is the way forward. Nuclear seems to be the way forward, um, especially the new thorium reactors. But in this country, we seem to be, well, we can't build any ourselves, so we better get some from the French or the Chinese which have proven to be less than reliable. And we've also got cables under the sea. Um, one of those goes to France, which caught fire, or the end point caught fire, so that's a bit of a thing. And we don't store, uh, we don't store as much gas as we used to. And we haven't gone in for fracking, so lots of chickens are coming home to roost. Suggest that we all buy, apart from petrol and toilet paper, lots of jumpers and thicker socks because things that were entirely predictable have come true never mind there you go anyway um the app of the week is the one that i'm using at the moment which is um you come nine uh, it allows me to do lower thirds it's quite expensive for that and um it does some zooming and some other things and you can add you can have backgrounds and all that sort of nonsense the reason i'm using it is because although i'm using a logitech camera it's considered a business camera and their capture utility doesn't work with it i doesn't recognize it not on the mac not on the windows pc yeah, I don't think that's the way forward, Logitech. If you're around, you might want to support all your cameras with your software, because that would be good. Anyway, we shall see how this all works. So what have we got then? Yeah, um, the new camera. I like it. Um, it's a much wider view, and you can zoom in. Um, well, if you're on the Mac, you can use webcam settings, or I'm using UCam on sure. Um, and I think the microphones are a lot better as well. And it was on sale at um, Amazon. And talking of that, 
Um, I had a delivery on Sunday. I can't remember what it was. Um, but it was actually delivered by the post office. The tracking was all the post office. I like that. I really do. I think it's a good idea for the post office. And... Um, well, it keeps local jobs going. Not that my Amazon delivery person isn't very good. Um, they are normally very good, except when you get different ones and they leave it outside the front door where anyone could see it or nick it. But nine times out of ten, it's the same guy and he knows his eggs. And I respond positively for that. I say thank you. Anyway, so yeah, um, this week has been, well, a week of energy. I'm really glad that I got in with Octopus and fixed. Um, my old contract runs out at the end of the month, which is next Thursday. New one starts next Friday. It's £10 a month more. But seeing some people and the amount and those people who have lost their companies, um, it's not very good at all. I'm half and half about energy distribution companies. Some of them are good, um, but I think there's far too many there, and there's not enough protection for users. Basically, if someone loses their company, the company disappears, uh, they go on to another company, that other company can charge everyone in the country. Um, it's <laughs> it was described as socializing the loss. Um, so all those people have been moved out of their current companies and on to someone else, we will start to pay for them. It's going to be a very, very interesting winter. We should store gas. Buy it in the summer when it's cheap, when no one wants it. Store it and use it in the winter. It's a good plan. I think it's what we used to do. It's what we don't do at the moment. Ha. Ah non-political as well anyway um i mentioned last week about the ipad mini i've still got my old ipad mini at the moment um and it's a great machine uh, the dates are pushing out they're actually close to november now but i know and i've seen this from other people that they have them in store so you can go in and buy them in store and ooh, I could have had one in the week and picked it up on Friday if I wanted. I think it's called Cherry, but it's purple. But here's the thing. Um, computers, either silver or black. Neither of those can you get. And the delivery date, it's a bit tricky because um, I'm away quite a lot in October. Plus, I want to do a trade-in, which I know I could shove my old one in the box and such like that. I'd rather go and pick it up. Monitoring like the wind. Um, could be a quick visit down to Cardiff at some time. The reviews have been very good as well. And I like my tech and I like my fast tech. What next? Oh yeah, thank you for the positive feedback. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, they usually get comments just on YouTube and some of them are just spammy ones which I usually find funny there you go um, uh, I was in Spoons this week and there was a new Spoons magazine with Danny from well I assume that she was from the Malcolm Uphill although her husband runs it um, she's the area manager for South East Wales and uh, Vicky or Victoria she's the area manager for South West Wales she wears glasses and she has longer hair now, and I think it suits her a lot. I miss her in the tumble. She was a great mine host. I have no idea who it is at the moment. No idea at all. However, there is a Spoons Autumn Beer Fest. Um, they had all the beers on there. It was only one page worth, which is a lot better than nothing. Normally you have at least two pages worth of the beers. Um, but I booked to go to Bristol. Um, and I'm going to go to the commercial rooms in the hope that they will have all of them on stillage, which they have done in the past. So I need Wales not to be locked down in the coming month. Who knows uh, with Mr. Drakeford, the vaccine packs guy. 
Just think if he spent all the money on the vaccine pass on hospitals. Just think how much better that would be. Uh, there you go. What else? Oh, yeah, tech-wise, iPadOS 15, iOS 15, uh, tvOS 15. Um, well, I'm using iPadOS. I'm using iOS there have been a couple of compatibility problems. Um, the Pi Minor, that's a bit tricky. And I had problems initially um, with um, my camera app, ProCam. It wouldn't, um, it wouldn't actually turn around. The uh, indicator bar for horizontalness wouldn't turn around when you went to landscape. And it works fine now, and I don't think it's been updated, but these things happen. Anyway, I um, haven't updated the TV uh, streaming box yet, because um, I saw something on um, it's on the British Tech Network uh, Slack saying it's like a slug now, and I've got the latest box. So I haven't yet. Um, there have been patches. There's one already out which you upload um, as soon as you get your new device. So that's 13s or iPads or whatever. And um, there's going to be another one quite soon, I think, because of some unpatched in the wild exploits. In fact, I think we're going to have lots and lots of patches. This is the way it is. Anyway, um, work. More blessings counted this week. Um, I like my job um, and I see other people's jobs um, and I count my blessings. Yeah, plus the fact I've got the spoons for lunch, which is good. Um, ooh, yeah. This week, weather. Um, first, I think it was the first three or four days, rather fresh, clear skies, New moon, no, full moon, um, and Orion in the southwest, southeast. Anyway, as soon as I see Orion, I know the weather's on the change. It's going to get colder and winter is coming, if not sure. Okay, it's a bit early for winter, but if you're up early, look south and you can see it. I kind of like it. I really do. Anyway, um, ooh, uh, got to do next Friday. Uh, I'm on a half day. Um, so, plan. Bus into Caffilly, bus into Ponty, half day, spoons, various pubs in Pontypridd, come home. And then I'm off to Gloucester the next day, so I can't drink too much on the day. However, I was checking out the bus timetables. Normally, I'd catch the 25 past 6. There isn't one. Um, and then I would get, I think it's about a 10 to 7 bus. There isn't one. The bottom line is I won't get into work until half past 8. I couldn't have done my job by going into work with public transport as it is. I just have this thing about public transport. It's not really for the public. It's for the suppliers, whether that's the local councils or companies or whatever. <sighs> yeah. No. Yeah. If you want people to use public transport, make it better. Make it so the public can use it. Make it so it's not peak time only. Yeah, it's going to cost more. But if you're serious about it, because talk is cheap. Anyway, we shall see. Uh, ooh, Evernote. Uh, I really haven't used Evernote at all. Apart from web clipping, it has an excellent web clipper. So I had a little look at it, um, and I plugged into the free tier. I've got, well, actually, I've gone until next March when the, my premium tier expires. Um, premium, uh, free tier means that you can use the web, and you can have it on two devices which will sync. So I've been deleting it off practically everything. My Notes app is Apple Notes. Um, that's been improved by the iOS 15. Um, smart folders, and if you use uh, hashtags, uh, you can search on those. 
Yeah, I really wanted to like Evernote, but um, they went all electron and then the syncing just went. And if it doesn't sync and, you know, use it on multiple devices, you can forget it. I'm not paying for it. You need to get the basics done and it's bye bye. OK, um, ooh, talking about software, um, Swarm App um, Foursquare and Untapped. And when I put the weather forecast up in the morning, you can all tag the, your locations into Facebook. <coughs> Probably about a fortnight ago, there was a, a Facebook update that broke it. You could still see the places, but when you tapped on them, nothing happened. And it's only on the third update that they've actually fixed it. No one actually tests updates nowadays. A cursory glance and they're out the door and they break things. Oh. Anyway, it's fixed now. <laughs> so I will be checking into Weatherspoons at six o'clock in the morning on a work day, even if it's not open, you know. Um, talking of Weatherspoons, I tried out one of their Beyond Meat burgers yesterday. Um, it looked more like a veggie burger. It did taste slightly beef like but it was more expensive than a beef burger i think um and their veggie burgers are really rather good so if i wanted a veggie burger i would actually have a veggie burger and if i wanted a beef burger i'd go with beef i really would um it wasn't unpleasant but it wasn't what i thought it would be i thought it would be a plant-based beef burger that looked and tasted like a beef burger. It didn't look and it didn't taste. Never mind. You have to try things to find out. Anyway, um, yesterday, complete and utter petrol buying chaos. Porth, packed with people queuing to get petrol. Sainsbury's on the way home packed with people trying to get petrol. Um, a number of different places have run out with petrol. There is no shortage of petrol. However, when you get politicians saying, don't panic, people panic. Luckily, I've got three quarters of a tank and I hope things sort out before next week because I'm gonna need a tank in a bit to do my beanos the week after, which I'm looking forward to, really am. And lastly, and this is back to Apple, Apple TV Plus, which I had as a freebie, well, at least for a year, The Foundation by Isaac Asimov. I've read the full set of books twice, but I can't really remember the story in any great detail. Right. Um, the episode's about an hour, hour ten long. They are lavish. The production quality is very high and the story is just draped over the top. Reviews so far have said it looks very nice, but it's a bit boring. I don't think so. I like the story. I like the people. I had the first two episodes last night. I would recommend it. You have to like science fiction, although the science fiction is quite a low level and you have to like intrigue and people go watch it it's very very good anyway ooh, I've gone far too long so I better upload this now um, usual comments um, Facebook uh, Twitter me we or YouTube and um, see you in October